Well, Black and White Network, I truly do believe all of the media hype for Kamala Harris is all fake. Fake. Don't believe what they're actually preaching to you. They're saying that Kamala Harris is surging. She's really not. Now, yeah, she's gained like almost a point, I guess, from where Biden was. But think about this, guys. Biden really was a dead man walking. A dead man could have actually uh, moved the needle for Democrats. I said it before. I'm going to say it again, guys. Kamala Harris is probably one of the worst pits for the Democrats in a very, very long time. Just before Kamala Harris became the nominee for the Democrats, her polling was worse than Biden. Yes, Kamala Harris is not popular. She's not. For one thing also, guys, what policies is she actually pushing? She's not pushing any policies, guys. If you were to ask the uh, average um, Kamala Harris supporter, what policies do they actually like that she's pushing? I want to bet they're not going to be able to tell you anything. Well, guys, Kamala Harris's um campaign started off with a rally in Pennsylvania last week. And guess what? Almost nobody showed up. Almost nobody showed up. It definitely looked, well, I guess you could say a little bit better than Biden. But they ain't saying much, man, because nobody shows up to see Joe Biden. Nobody. This is really pathetic, guys. But we got more information on the Atlanta rally, too, by the way. That's the main topic here. This video, guys, because you guys saw the crowd. Megan Thee Stallion was there and people were actually walking out after uh, Megan Thee Stallion was done. Yeah, you saw people in those stands. But guess what, guys? We got some bombshell information on that. Let's get into it. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. And everyone can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals, both for just $5 per month. Check the link in the description. So here we go. Look at this, guys. Now. This is the Pennsylvania rally right here. I'm not going to play the sound, but I believe you had uh, Gretchen Whitmer there, Josh Shapiro there, Kamala Harris there, and this the crowd. That's it. That is it right there. And you know what? No, it's also funny, guys. They said that Kamala Harris is supposed to be black. Why is it that I really don't see... Many, if any, black people there. Yeah, I see one. Yeah, that's it. That's the crowd right there for Kamala Harris. Now, Kamala Harris went to Chocolate City, Atlanta. And Atlanta, we know, is a bit time Democratic Party city. She was actually giving a rally, speaking, not on policy, of course. Because she can't talk about policy. Oh, no, can't do that. But guys, it was all manufactured. All manufactured. And guess what? We got a video clip here, guys, of Kamala Harris getting exposed for paying homeless people to fill up the arena. Now, we know that Donald Trump can sell out an arena like nobody. Nobody cares about Kamala Harris. Let's go ahead and um, react to this clip, guys. Let's play it. Here we go. Okay, just in case you did not know it, on yesterday, Kamala Kamala Harris had a rally in Atlanta. And it gave you like, oh, Atlanta's hype for her. Like, people are so excited for her. I know you felt it. I know you saw it. She even brought out Ratchet Megan Thee Stallion, shaking her butt, twerking for a political rally talking about hotties for Harris, that did not turn your stomach. Like, that is pandering, yeah, like, is. if you've ever heard it. But, but, that's not the catch -em. Do not let that rally look in uh, full fool you, because Fulton County has been doing this for years. 
before the rallies, they get busloads and they go pick up the homeless people. They offer them food, drink, and a little change to come to the rally so the rallies will look full. Now, you got to realize she just dealt with the rally, and I want to say it was Pennsylvania where it was less than 60 people. It was quite embarrassing for her. And so that's not going to go down in this blackity black city. Okay. It's just not going to go down. They are absolutely going to make sure that thing looks packed out. So I want you to know, that's why you only saw certain angles as well, but I want you to know people aren't for her like that. That's, that's why they're having to pick up homeless people. That being said, I'm going to give her this. She's not the only one. It is a very Fulton County, Atlanta thing. You can see it um, before all of the Democratic um, rallies. You can see it. Now, I've never seen them pick up people and pay them to vote Democratic, but it's been said for years, for years, that they literally will go pick up homeless people on the days of the election and pay them to vote. They need the money, so they do it because what poor and desperate is what they're banking on. I haven't seen that, but I have absolutely, and I saw yesterday, them picking up the homeless people to come to the rally. So do not be fooled. They'll tell you it's a lie. I'm telling you. This right here, thousand percent the truth. Wow. So you saw that right there, guys. You saw that right there. She exposed the Democratic Socialist Party for paying homeless people to go out there and support Kamala Harris. Now, I got to admit, guys, if I was actually homeless on the street, hungry, thirsty. Yeah. If you're going to pay me and give me some food. Yeah, I'm going to attend. I mean, this is in a super, super duper blue city of Atlanta. And Kamala Harris couldn't genuinely pack the arena. Yeah, all this stuff, Kamala Harris, man, is fake. And this is probably even more proof, man, that a lot of black people also don't believe that she's black. Now, I believe that uh, the Democratic Party is also trying to play the game of promoting Kamala Harris as black because we do have evidence, guys, that black people will vote for a candidate simply based on skin color. Look at Chicago, guys. Lori Lightfoot, black lesbian. She was terrible. The people said, nah, nah, we, we can't have no more Lori Lightfoot. So let's go out there and get Brandon Johnson simply because he's black. And he is way worse than Lori Lightfoot. Way worse. So the Democrats playing this game, not surprising. I mean, they're, they think black people are stupid, man. I want to say that black people are not stupid. And I really hope that's the case, man. I hope that black people are smarter than this to not fall for this. Don't fall for voting for a candidate based on race and sex. Because once you do that, man, the U.S. is done. If enough people actually think that way. If you guys thought that Biden was bad, Kamala Harris is going to be worse because she is to the left of Bernie Sanders, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.